Welcome guys, in this video I'm going to show how to build a simple tab component from scratch in react. So this is the component that I'm going to build. So this behaves like a simple uh, tab with title and uh, content. So here is the demo page that I'm going to build along with you guys. So let's go to the code and uh, see how to build this. So this is an empty class and uh, which has a JSON uh, structure for our uh, tab component which holds the title and uh, content. Here you can make a content as a HTML and uh, you can uh, render that accordingly in our tab component. So I'm going to create uh, this tab component and components so we can use it in uh, multiple places in our application. So now uh, this tab component holds uh, two components inside. Uh, one is it, the main tab component and the second one is the tab pen component. The tab Pan uh, has uh, the data about uh, its children, uh, like the tab number of uh, tabs that we are going to have, and the content for that, and the title for the tabs. So this accepts the children, and it is going to render the children in uh, the same thing. So we're going to do this because uh, inside our tab component, we need to know how many tabs present for our, for us to render. So for uh, that we are going to define a static component instead of uh, having a different uh, divs provided by the user so that uh, we don't know how to take the title and the content for the tab. And our main tab component also accepts the children so which is actually the tab pan and uh, other parameter called active. The default active uh, index is zero so the first tab will be focused. We're going to uh, store a few uh, states in our uh, component to store uh, the active uh, tab. So this is called uh, active tab and another function for updating the state set active tab. Now the second uh, state actually going to hold uh, the entire uh, data that uh, we are going to render inside uh, or as a tab. So let's call this as a tabs data and we have another function to update the tabs data. Now uh, we're going to use use effect hook. So this whenever a children changes, we, are, we need to re-render re uh, the entire tab component. Let's say if the content of uh, the tab changes, we need to re-render. So I'm going to pass this children as a dependency for this use effect hook. Let's import this use effect from uh, react and then now uh, here we are going to loop the entire children which is the tab pan. So let's uh, define an array for uh, storing the data basically the title and the content. So I'm going to loop through this children through react uh, dot children dot forage and this will give us uh, the second uh, function callback which has individual uh, element so now we're going to check if this is a valid react element and also you can check if this is a valid uh, tab and component here i'm just going to see if it is a valid jsx or react component so if it is a valid component so from this children i'm going to extract a uh, few props that we're going to pass it for this tab and component which is the tab that is the title of the tab and uh, its children which is the content so you will understand uh, when uh, you integrate this in our main component so let's wait for that once we take uh, this two data we are going to push that inside data to set it as uh, tabs data here finally because since uh, we are running it in the loop, uh, we need to collect all the data for all the children that we have, as many as the tabs that we have, and we need to store that inside tabs data. Here we're going to use set tabs data to update the state. This will uh, trigger a re-render. Now let's go and uh, see how to build this tabs actual tab component uh, in uh, HTML. So I'm going to use bootstrap classes for this even for the tabs 
which is uh, unordered list and uh, there was a class for uh, this tab in uh, react uh, sorry bootstrap which is nav and nav tabs you can use the same thing uh, so all the css are inbuilt so you don't need to write uh, any uh, line of css for this particular uh, tab headers so now i'm going to uh, loop through the tabs data and render all the titles within this nav tabs as nav item So this has tab and children. Uh, tab is the title of the tab, and children is the content for uh, within the tab. So now uh, we need uh, just the title, as because we are uh, actually rendering uh, only the header part of the tab component right now. So this is going to be a nav item. So nav item has to render the tab, and uh, whenever we click on this. We need to set this as an active tab. So let's add a class for this nav link. And then if it is active, if the index equal to active uh, tab, then now uh, we are going to highlight this using uh, the active tab uh, class. And we are going to render the title of the tab here. Also, we need to add on click uh, callback for this. Let's write it uh, in a way. The on click uh, callback, we're going to update this active tab. So, whenever uh, this tab is clicked, uh, we are going to set this index as an active tab. Now uh, let's go and uh, render our uh, tab uh, content. So the tab content class, this is a bootstrap classes. So I'm going to just have to render uh, the children of the current active tab. So from tabs data, I'm going to take the current active tab and uh, render its children. We already stored uh, the content of this tab as a children inside that uh, object. So our tabs component is ready. So let's uh, okay active. Uh, we need to pass this as a default option for this, so that whenever uh, the component renders for the first time, it will uh, show the active tab passed by the parent component. So here we're going to import the tab from our components directory and uh, we can set as active as um, maybe like for our testing we'll set it as one and then uh, we're going to look through the entire JSON that we have at the top which is just the title and the content for our tabs and I'm going to render a tab pan inside this. tab dot tab pen. so here uh, inside that I'm going to render the content and uh, I'm going to pass the title for this tab as a tab uh, props we also need this index Otherwise, if you don't put this key, uh, React will throw a warning. So let's render the tab uh, dot content, and uh, we need to pass the parameter tab, which is the title. Tab dot title. This two props are what uh, we are uh, extracting in our uh, tabs component. So tabs is done. So we are getting some error here. Tabs data is not a function. Let's go ahead and uh, check uh, what exactly the problem is. Okay, this should be an array because uh, we are going to push multiple objects inside that. So now our component is rendered. So the, uh, we need to have a border for our tab content component. So let's add a little CSS to cover this border part. I'm going to 
take this tab component sorry tab content and i'm going to create a css file in this current folder and i need to import the css in this uh, tabs component so let's write a small css to cover the border for uh, to write a border for that and i'm going to set a minimum width minimum height for this because uh, if you don't have any content or less content top uh, your tab will look very small in that particular uh, current tab and then now uh, let's add a border to this content which suits your uh, design and uh, we're going to remove the border top because we already have a bottom uh, border from our uh, nav title that's a nav tab actually so now add this uh, custom tab class here and let's see still we don't have see that uh, border that's because we didn't import our css file here so let's import uh, the css from the current directory and see if uh, this is getting reflected yes uh, now you can see uh, that all the tabs is working as expected so now if you can go and uh, change this active tab to or uh, remove this active tab by default it will focus the first tab because initially we had given active tab as one so this is very easy guys and i have deployed this application as a part of uh, this react component deployment netlify netlify app i'll give the link for that app in the description you can go and check it out